The Phase Linear Model 8000 Series 2 Linear Motor Turntable is really interesting. These are pretty rare. They're similar to the Pioneer PL1000. And this video is going to be a walkthrough of its operation and this specific turntable, which I'm selling on my website. So if you have any questions about it, please watch the video. And if at the end, if you need any help with yours or have any questions, please let me know. So aside from having maybe the longest name ever, the Phase Linear Model 8000 Series 2 Linear Motor Turntable is really interesting. Um, right off the bat, it's a linear tracking turntable. What that means is as the record plays, the turntable tone arm actually slides left and right, uh, keeping the cartridge perpendicular to the center of axis of the record. So why that linear mechanism is important can be demonstrated on a typical turntable. This is a Pioneer PL550. And most turntables are built this way in that the tone arm rotates from a point outside of the platter and as it rotates, it swings across the record. Well, this arc across the record actually creates a little bit of an imbalance in timing between the left and right channels. In theory, there is a difference from the beginning of the record to the middle to the end of the record in that relationship. Now, most folks, including myself, can't hear that. But in principle, this design with the linear uh, tone arm is actually a better representation of the accuracy of the recording. But it's insanely complicated. Um, this tone arm here works through a series of uh, light sensors that create a system where the tone arm is always trying to stay perpendicular to the record. So if I try to fake it out and move the cartridge over a little bit, you'll see it tries to straighten itself back out again. Now, it's kind of awkward moving this left and right. So the designers of this turntable incorporated a jog wheel that helps you move this tone arm in a much smoother fashion. And this is really the coolest part about the turntable. So with the cover closed even, you can pick the track you want to listen to. You could even have it repeat. So if you're at a party, you could close the dust cover, hit the start button, and it'll take over. So right now it's off. Let's push the start button, brings the cartridge over, and plops it down at the beginning of the record. If for some reason you wanted to skip this track, you'd hit the arm elevation button. It would raise up off the record. You could pick a track, set it back down, and continue again. It's a neat design. However, it requires around like 45 to 50 different, different adjustments to make it work properly. Um, most of these turntables suffered from the lack of um, good storage. So this one in particular was put away in its original box and the platter and the rubber mat was stored separately. I've seen these before where the rubber mat will kind of leave like, like a weird film on the inside of the record player, including the point where like it'll actually gum up the mechanism. So because the original owner of this kept it stored away uh, correctly, this one happens to be in much better than average shape. Um, it's not perfect. There are a couple little flaws on this plinth, which is actually a piece of cast aluminum. And the dust cover is all original and does have a couple little swirls and scratches on it. I didn't try to polish the dust cover because these are hard to find, and uh, this one has no cracks, so I figured it's better just to leave it as it is. And then lastly, on this particular turntable, I replaced the factory cord with a set of RCA jacks. And that's much 
better um, than the factory cord. You know, even that Pioneer PL550 was built with a built-in cord. Now, in real life, your preamplifier might be right next to it, it might be right underneath of it, it might be two feet away. With those factory cords, you were limited based on the length of that cord. With RCA jacks, now you could pick a cord that's the right length for you. So these are really neat. Um, if you happen to find one and you have any questions about it, please let me know. Or if you currently own one and uh, it needs fixed, please don't let me know because these are an absolute bear to work on and I probably won't do another one for a while. If you have any questions about this one in particular or anything else, just let me know. All right, thanks.